Hey guys uh, and ladies, Dan here at StockMarketMentor.com and I want to look at uh, PLBY, uh, which is the Playboy group, you know. Um, so um, I, I tend to look at my stuff on, on MarketSmith and IBD product just to kind of see what the growth and the valuation is and stuff like that. But um, for me, the joke on this was the, um, the description provides products, services, and experiences related to pleasure and leisure via their flagship brand, or maybe it's via their flagship brand, Playboy. So is this stock giving you an experience related to pleasure and leisure? I would say no. Now, Here's the thing, when you see a stock do this, like what this thing did, it would be the same thing, you know, like with GameStop, it'd be the same thing with, um, you know, with some, the, the meme stocks, which I'll be honest, I don't even know what the hell a meme is. What's a meme? They call it a meme stock. It's a stock. Um, so we'll just call them the, you know, the Robin Hood Brigade. But, you'll, you know, you'll see all those stocks too. Um, GameStop. Okay, you see how this thing screamed, and then it screamed again. Okay, and then at one point it peaked, and this thing came down 90%. That's not a verbal typo. 90% this thing came down, and now it's doing what it's doing. You know, maybe it's going to fall again. I don't know. I just covered this stock today just because I was thinking about it. Probably going to go lower. But would you short GameStop? Not me, because you just never know what's going to happen with a stock like this. This would be known as the tear your face off pattern, um, because anybody who's short has gotten absolutely crushed on this um, at times. Now, Playboy, here's a different deal. Um, this was kind of the in vogue stock. Uh, nice move here, as you can see. I mean, that's a pretty good move from 10 bucks up to 16 uh, in a couple months. Yay, I'll take it, 60%, yabba dabba do. Uh, and then it falls back down and now we're up here. So the way I look at this though is this run is over. I mean, it is over, um, stock's down 50%. There's literally no support for this that you can find on the chart. Now, wherever the stock bounces, you can say, well, Dan, that's support. Okay, fine, but I'm not seeing a bounce yet, and I don't see any logical reason for it, say, to bounce at 30 bucks, other than for a cup of coffee, or maybe since it's Playboy, I don't know, maybe a martini or something else. But if you look at this on the weekly chart, you really get a sense of what happens when a bubble pops. Things gone up over 500%. Um, since that peak, it's down 50%. Trust me, a 50% pullback on this can be just the start of a deeper pullback. These high flyers, sooner or later, do retrace and they suck out all the money that had been in. And this is why if you're getting this stuff on the way up, like, you know, you game stoppers and AMC uh, and all that, that's a good trade. I mean, and that's money. You could say, you know, I've had people say, well, you know, that's not really trading. That's gambling. Screw you. Um, it's totally trading. Somebody who buys a stock and holds it and makes, you know, a thousand percent or 500 percent. No, that's trading. That's good trading. It might be high risk, but congratulations. The issue, though, is when the FOMOs come into play, the fear of missing out traders who buy it after it's up so, so, so high because they think, well, maybe it'll go higher. What I'm saying is you look at Playboy, this is a stock that I'm sure uh, some people are holding, thinking that it's gonna run up and regain its former glory and it's all gonna be good. Hey, I'm buying at 30. Um, if the stock goes up at, to 60, that's a double. Okay, fine. But if the stock goes down to 15, okay, that's not a double. That's a half. And so I want you to be aware 
that stocks do go down and when a stock is sounds intuitively obvious to all but the most casual observer when a stock is going down you should not be holding it the only reason you would hold a stock that's going down like this and creating a loss for you is because you're hoping that the stock will turn around that's not a good bet because when whichever way a stock is going the people that are riding that trend are correct they're right the people that the stock is going against but they persist still she persisted um, but they persist in holding it um, those are the ones that are wrong and you don't want to be right as what's what was that uh, what was that old song if loving you is wrong I don't want to be right well loving a stock that's going down Trust me, you ain't going to be right. All right, um, see you guys later. This is a slow, slow market. I don't really see a lot to do. Uh, if I did, I would say, hey, buy this right now.